Hello everyone. Welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we will see how to write a simple while loop. And we will see what is a syntax for writing a while loop. And we'll also see a simple example for writing uh, code using while loop. Let's get started. Now this is a general syntax for a while loop. So we just write while and we'll have some condition and inside this are statements. Now you might get a difference between, you might get a question on what if, what is the difference between if and while. So when you have if condition like this and you have some condition here and you have some statements inside this. Now what is the difference between if and while is that in case of if condition, if the condition is satisfied, the statements will get executed and that's it. It'll, it'll stop here. So it will not come back again in case of if condition. Whereas in while loop, first if the condition is satisfied, it will execute the statements. Again it will come back here. Again if the condition is satisfied, it will execute the statements. So as long as the condition is satisfied, we keep on executing this. That's how a while loop works. So that's why when you're speaking, so we use the term while loop. Whereas if you should not use loop, if it's just a condition, if the statements are true, it'll just execute it. I'll just tell a simple example and then you'll understand it very clearly, right? So while the condition is true, the statements will be executed. Again, it'll come here, it'll check for the condition. If it is true, it'll execute again. It'll come back, it'll check if the condition is true, it'll execute. And when the condition fails, it'll stop executing. Now, let's see some points about while loop. The statements inside while will be executed only if the condition is satisfied. And also the statements will be executed repetitively as long as the condition is satisfied. This is very important. And as long as the condition is satisfied, it keep on executing it. So once you see an example, you'll get a clear idea about this. Now what we'll do is an Eclipse IDE, let's see a simple example for while loop. Now I just open Eclipse IDE and I just deleted the code that we had written in lesson 18 and we'll, we'll reuse the same program. Now what I'll do is I'll just write, I want to print hello five times. Let's take my requirement as hello five times. I'll write here int i is equal to one. I initialize the value. Now while, I'll just write here while i less than or equal to five. I'll be writing here syso control space. I'll write hello. Now I'll, after this, I'll increase i value. I'll just put i is equal to i plus one. Now, now first time i value is one, one less than or equal to five, yes. Now it'll print hello. Now i value becomes two. So now it'll come here, it'll check two less than or equal to five, yes, it'll print hello. Now i value becomes three. And again, three less than or equal to five, yes, it'll print hello. And i value becomes four. It'll come back here, four less than or equal to five, yes, it'll print hello. And i value becomes five. And again, it'll go here. And five less than or equal to five, yes, because five less than or equal to is also there. So it'll become, it'll print hello. And now i value becomes six. When i value becomes six, the condition fails and it will not, it'll stop there. So that's a while loop. Now when I run this code, now when I run this code, first time i value is one, it'll keep on printing it. So it'll print up to five times. So let's run the code. Now, if, uh, okay, let me cancel this. So I just need to save it. So let's save this and let's run the code. Now you can, you can see here, if I show the complete output, you can see here it's printed hello five times. Now if I see the difference, if I put if condition here, now if is a condition, if this condition is satisfied, it'll come back and it'll stop, that's it. It will not come back here. So that's the difference between if and while loop. If is a condition, while is a loop. Now let's run the code now, I'll execute this. And, um, and let me click OK. Now see here, I'm getting one time hello. Right, so so I'm I'm just getting one time uh, hello because uh, only if the condition is satisfied it'll print it and it'll not come back here in case of if condition. Whereas while loop it'll come back as long as the condition is satisfied. So now if I run this code, now you can see here it is printing hello five times. Okay, so I hope you got clear idea about how to write. And sometimes very important point sometimes sometimes people forget to put i plus plus i equal to i plus one. People forget to put that. Now, when you forget to put that first time, what is I value? It is one. Now let's say this now, let me, yeah. So now first time I value is one and it'll print hello. Again, it'll go here. I value is still one. It'll print hello. Again, it'll go here. I value is still one. So it'll keep on executing it. So that's why it's called infinite loop. 
when you forget to put i when you forget to put the logic to change i value this will remain always one it will become an infinite loop now when i run this code see what happens now and see now it is keep on printing hello so it's printing you can see here it's it's keep on printing it and after some time your system might crash now let me stop this now you can see here how many times this hello has been printed see here now it will keep on printing it because the condition never fails so as long as the condition you keep on checking it it'll keep on executing it so it'll never fail so that's the reason we're getting so this way of uh, writing a loop is called infinite loop where the loop will never stop so next time when you're writing while loop make sure that you put this otherwise you'll end up in writing an infinite loop the loop will never stop i is equal to i plus one or simply you can also write i plus plus or simply you can write i plus equal to one i plus equal to one we learned in assignment operators so this i plus equal to one is also same as i is equal to i plus one so let's run the code and let's see how many times we'll get it so see here now we're getting hello five times okay so i hope you're clear with uh, writing a simple while loop this is a general syntax for a while loop and um, i hope you're clear with this thank you and see you in the next module